I think now more than ever, we need to honor those who are willing to serve something bigger than themselves, especially in today's world, today's dynamic, and the individuals who are making that decision today to, to raise their right hand to serve something bigger than themselves and to protect everyone here in the United States, we ought to honor because in a society that's placed on individual aspirations, individual goals, these individuals are deciding to serve something not for themselves, but for the greater good. And we could definitely use more of that. So that's why they need to be honored today. Stepping up, raising your right hand to support and defend the Constitution, our people, and our way of life. 22 years ago, I was sitting in the in the same seats you are in the same position, anxious and nervous to step off to Beast Barracks, West Point's basic training. It's okay for these feelings and you need to learn to embrace these feelings because your time in the profession of arms is going to be full of them. Whether it's jumping out of an airplane for the first time, meeting your drill sergeant for the first time, your career is going to be full of exciting and nerve wracking experiences just a little bit of wisdom from what I experienced is uh, find those one to two buddies uh, that you'll quickly meet in basic training or whatever, you'll quickly find those, those one to two to three individuals, that tribe of yours, and really lean on them, lean on one another. It's not something that can be done alone. It has to be done where you can share the good, the bad, and the ugly. And finding those people is really something that I would encourage you to, to quickly find that so that you don't uh, try to do it alone. You need those, those people on your left and right to, to carry you along. Your career is going to be full of exciting and nerve wracking experiences that you're going to have to learn to embrace and channel the energy. You're going to do great. You've done great. When you get that feeling of nervousness and excitement, remember what got you here. Remember your grit, your resolve, your strength, and most importantly, your attitude. That will carry the day. And when in doubt, just keep moving forward. It's a sacrifice that's made early in an individual's life. You have to be younger to make that decision. That's why it is such a, a time-honored profession, because when you're being part of something bigger than yourself, that's what a lot of individuals later in life reflect upon and realize that maybe they had their individual aspirations to be successful in business, to be successful on the sports field, to be successful in one endeavor. And I'm not saying that's bad, but you will never find a purpose as satisfying when you're serving something bigger than your individual self. And that's what the military does. That's why these individuals need to be cherished. When you stop and think about it, it's 0.45% of Americans since 9-11-2001 have decided to make that decision. It's such a small percentage of those who are sacrificing for all of us, for the entire United States and really the globe for what we do to help other nations. That's why it's a special group of people who make that decision today. I've chosen to serve in the military because I want to protect and serve my country. Because I want to do something meaningful, something that had purpose to me. Because I want to be different from others and make a difference. Because I want to serve and protect my country. In order to develop myself and in order to give back to the country that has afforded me so many opportunities. Because it has presented a lot of opportunities for me and my dream of becoming a nurse. To protect my country and neutralize the forces of tyranny globally. Because all the education, benefits I get from it is better for my future family and it's better for me as I go on in my life. To continue the history of service in my family and to make a difference in the country. So I can keep on the tradition of serving in my family. Because I think this is the best way for me to make a big difference in the world. Because I wanted to challenge myself and be part of a greater purpose. Because I've always wanted to help people and what better way to do that than serving your country.